how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Minecraft Hardcore Super Flat. I just want to start off today by saying a huge thank you for all of your support throughout this series and especially another big thank you for all of you guys who were super supportive and left kind words on my recent update video which was actually the first full cam vloggy type video that I've done on this channel. I really appreciate that support my friends, thank you. Now of course if you want to continue supporting this Minecraft series here on the channel do be sure of course to drop a like. If you don't want to miss out on my future content there you can always go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you really want to go one further with your support use code python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get a discount when ordering any of my apex gaming pcs hello mr enderman goodbye mr enderman so then my friends today we're actually going to start off by trying to get ourselves enough diamonds to be able to make ourselves a full set of diamond armor now once we get that done i feel like i'd be able to go ahead and be just a little bit more comfortable in terms of maybe exploring the nether just a bit more maybe we try and cycle ourselves around to 30 levels a few times and try and get ourselves some decent enchants on the diamond armor as well so yeah it's going to be very much a gearing up episode but also maybe a little bit of exploration inside of the nether so if that's the sort of thing that floats your boat then go ahead and stick around so let's pop down to the mines and let's see if we can get lucky with getting some diamonds i think that we are about halfway to our goal of 24 diamonds 24 is of course the magic number we're looking for so here we are back down at y0 my friends for whatever reason one of the best altitudes in which to go ahead and mine up a bunch of resources in super flat so uh yeah, it's strange, but it's also kind of awesome. So, yeah, here's hoping that we can find some diamonds, ideally, before my iron pickaxe runs out. Got some iron, got some redstone. Oh, yeah. We are getting very, very low on durability here, my friendos. Come on. I keep finding little deposits of iron, which, you know, it's useful. Don't get me wrong, but it's not diamonds, is it? It's not diamonds. Ah, darn it. I don't think we're going to find any, my friendos. Oh, that's a sad situation indeed. Oh, no. Bye-bye, pickaxe. Oh, goodness me. We're racing against the clock here, my friends. Got to get back before the slimes invade and before all of the other dudes start spawning in. Oh, jeez. All right, real quick. We got a tiny, tiny bit of time here. Uh, let's grab ourselves some of this here. Cool. And we should be able to start smelting up this iron. All right, so taking the diamonds out of the chest, we've got 11 of them. We need 13 more. All right, that shouldn't be too difficult with Fortune 3. We've just got to discover the diamond doors first. So real quick, just to address a couple of comments from the last episode. The first one being that we should be going ahead and doing fishing. That is a really, really good idea, actually. The only thing is I don't really know how the fishing mechanics work now in terms of how big the fishing lake needs to be before you start getting treasure bits. You know, things like enchanted books and enchanted bows and such like that. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and research that for the next episode. Maybe we try and set up a bit of a fishing lake. So a big thank you, of course, for that suggestion. I really do appreciate it. And then the other bit of feedback I was seeing was a lot of you guys were saying that we should be going ahead and trying to get ourselves warped wood to use with our base instead of crimson wood. So, yeah. Plenty of things to be done, my friends. And, uh, yeah, if we manage to get ourselves into the nether and find ourselves a warped forest biome, then, of course, we'll go ahead and see about getting some. Well, at least by mining all of these various ores up, we're going to wind up getting ourselves back up to 30 levels pretty easy-like, especially if the ore we're mining up is redstone. Yeah, you get a decent amount of XP from redstone ores, don't you? Well, there we are. 30 levels before we found our diamonds. Say what? <laughs> that is now my second iron pickaxe out of the game. Good thing I got another one on me. But still, that's two iron pickaxes and no diamonds. Come on. Is it possible that I just got incredibly lucky in the last episode with the diamonds and maybe the diamond level isn't actually at Y0 on super flat? I've got absolutely no idea. Still no sign of any more, though. That's a bit of a shame, really. The good news is, as a result of mining up all of the various ores we've got, we've got a bunch of lapis, a bunch of redstone, even more copper, and a good amount more iron. So, actually, in terms of our general resource supply, we're not doing bad. Oh, <laughs> like that, is it, son? Like that, is it? Yeah, I always forget freaking silverfish, man. I mean, at least give me some diamonds for my troubles, eh? Come on, taking out silverfish and then not really guarding anything. Can you imagine if you had infested ores, though? You know, like the silverfish can infest ore blocks. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that'd be a scary one, wouldn't it? I mean, someone must have made a mod that does exactly that in Minecraft, right? And the reward is, if you manage to take down the silverfish, you still get the ore block, right? That's how I think it should be. Or maybe I'm being a bit of a masochist and uh, things need to be left as they are. No infested ore blocks. <laughs> Whoa! Hello! I mean, this is pretty rare, isn't it? This is deep slate coal. I don't even know if you can find this in regular Minecraft, but apparently on Superflat you can. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, hey, gold. How is it only now that we're finding gold? Seems a bit weird to me, but never mind. There we are. A little bit of that. 24 of it, in fact. Very, very good. So let's pop ourselves back up here. We've got some deep slate copper. It's... Fairly rare, but not really overly rare. It's just uncommon, really, isn't it? But yeah, this, this is what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. Give me all this. I need it all. Every single last bit of it. I mean, you never know. What the heck is going on here? Oh, a little bit of a weird visual glitch. I wonder if there are any diamond ores connected to this vein. No, we've got redstone. Uh, wait, really? Is that it? I am running out of my fifth iron pickaxe now and still no diamonds. So do you know what? I think we may need to go a little bit deeper in the world to get ourselves diamonds, my friendos. Oh! I was wondering when these might show up. <laughs> okay, right. There's at least four ores there. If we manage to get four diamonds from each of those ores, we would have enough to be able to make ourselves a full diamond set of armor. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and give it a bit of a go. We are really, really pushing fate here. One. Okay, that's a good start. Two. That's okay. Three. Ah. Uh... Okay, 19. We are five away from being able to make the armor, dude. Somebody gonna tell me why there's pillagers roaming this village? Hmm. Yeah, I am not so... Wait, he's actually following... They're all following me now. Oh, good grief. Uh, if I could maybe kill that bannerman with fire, then uh, maybe we won't get the bad omen effect and accidentally start a raid. To accidentally start a raid at this point in the game would be rather deadly, I would say. Oh, hello there, fellas. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you dare trample my crops? They did. They trampled me bleeding crops. Hey, 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 no. That's not cool, man. Get out of here and get out of here again. Right, I tell you what, since we have 33 levels on us, and strictly speaking, that means we could go ahead and enchant two bits of armor, I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So yeah, five diamonds are required, so we can make ourselves the uh, trousers, of course. But for now, I guess we could go ahead and see what we get on our bits of armor here. So we've got protection three. Oh, respiration three. Do we really need respiration three, though? Like, when are we going to go on the water? So, unbreaking three, that's probably the next best thing, right? I mean, we really do not need respiration, is my thinking. But then again, respiration is always a good thing to have. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's do it. Ho ho! Hey! I mean, we've got another water-related enchant with Depth Strider 3, but uh, yeah, the fire protection is especially appreciated, especially when it comes to the nether realms. Very, very good. I'm breaking three or I'm breaking three. Oh, this is going to be a gamble either way, my friendos. Uh, let's go for this one. Hey, fire protection again. That's kind of okay. I would have preferred a tier four fire protection on both. But you know what? It's still not bad. We've got unbreaking on both. Needless to say, mining in the deep slate layers is typically what you would do if you're looking for maximized diamonds. But that's in normal Minecraft, isn't it? With super flat, all of the ore distribution has been weirdly jumbled up. So I genuinely don't know what the best altitude to get diamonds is, man. So we could go way, way, way to the bottom of the world there. Or we could go ahead and start digging, uh, I don't know, somewhere down here. Uh, negative eight. Uh, I mean, there's no real reason for me going ahead and starting at negative eight, but let's just give it a go. Maybe there's a higher chance of finding gold below Y0, eh? We've got a little bit more here. Do you know what? Honestly, we're not finding resources down here. We're really not. We found that little bit of gold earlier, and that really was about it. 
There's barely anything down here. Yeah, I think that does it for this particular Y level. It just doesn't seem to be uh, yielding many, many results. So... I'm going to go back up. And you know what? I think I might go to Y16 because at that point, maybe we have a chance of bumping into a mineshaft and getting ourselves more resources in that way as well, eh? Oh! <laughs> no way, man! That quick? Really? That quick we found diamonds. That quick. Okay, very, very good. Uh, more than two? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, take this off. What do we got? One. Two, six, seven, ten. Hey, all right, that is more than our gold's worth of diamonds. Oh, okay, so gold does spawn above here as well then. Honestly, man, everything I've ever known about Minecraft's ore distribution is just out of the window in this series. Just seems to be a general rule that mining above Y0 actually seems to yield the most amount of resources in general. All right, so Iron Pickaxe has run out, and as a result of that, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to go home. We've got everything we need and then some. Well, 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 it has been a while since I've had a completely chocker valuables chest. <laughs> wow! There's lots of stuff here, dudes! Whoa! Okay, very, very cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, start smelting up some of this here iron, of which we have a lot. <laughs> oh, we're going to get XP for days, my friends. XP for days. Uh, needless to say, we could go ahead, probably, and start converting some of these things into their block form as well. There we are. Wow, over a full stack of redstone already. Over a full stack of lapis as well. Holy guacamole. So yeah, it looks like we've got a lot of diamonds left. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a sword and we'll make ourselves another diamond pick as well. And hopefully what I'm going to get on here is silk touch. That would be rather lovely. Efficiency 4 is guaranteed. We've got sharpness 3, protection 3, or protection 3. Anyways, for now, we've got ourselves full diamond armor. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Do I have any arrows? Wow, well, three. Um, <laughs> that's not a lot, is it? Right. Ah, oh, well. Sod it. We're going in, my friends, and I'm hoping that we're not just going to get absolutely flipped up into the air and dead instantly. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot the freaking gold stuffs. That was almost a catastrophic mistake, my friends. There we are. Bit of unbreaking three. Ah. Oh, wait. We got a helmet. Oh, we got a little bit of this as well. Okay, sure. I'll put the trousers on, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie McDokey. Hey, we chill now, brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got a... So wait. They're not mad at me for picking up mushrooms, are they? No, I don't think they are. Uh, will they get mad if I dig that up? Nope, we chill. So I guess the question is this. What exactly are we going to find around here? Well, I mean, obviously we're going to find ourselves the various types of mushrooms. That's pretty useful. We've got this guy here. Yeah, he's pretty chill. Wow, I love how the shroom light glows up with these shaders. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got, I've got the fungus on me. Wait, I thought having fungus on you makes it so that they run away. Okay, so that made them run away. But if you have it on your person, it doesn't seem to make them run away. Good grief. If that isn't a death pit, I don't know what is. Just please don't let there be anything that makes me go down into that. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, it appears that there's not a great deal of biome diversity around here. I'm trying to find myself some warped wood would be lovely. I mean, yeah, we've got the warped fungus here, but I don't have any of the nylium. I need some of the warped nylium, right? And then... I can plant these things down and grow warped trees. To say that this is a terrible nether spawn is really rather a massive understatement. Like, it is just dreadful. Like, in terms of safety and in terms of there just not being a great deal of stuff around. Yeah, yeah, you better run. <laughs> oh, yeah, get out of here, you stupid idiots. Uh, okay, I think what we'll do is maybe we'll sort of dig down to the typical lava ocean layer, which I think is Y32, and then maybe we go from there? And there we are. We're down at where the lava oceans would spawn if they were around here. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to resort to strategy one, aren't we? Just dig until we find something. Man, I love how glowy the magma blocks are in these shaders as well. <laughs> I think they look brilliant. All right, the good news is I can hear lava around me now. Ah, 
Right. Okay. Oh, is this going to take me out into the proper nether? Hey, and what do you know, my friends? We can see the proper nether now. Out into the open. Uh, wait, is that a bastion? Oh my goodness me. I think there's not only a bastion, but if my eagle eyes are serving me correctly, there's also a soul sand valley to my left over there. And what appears to be a basalt delta way over there on the sort of back right. Ow! Okay! That means the only thing we don't have is actually the warped forest. You know, the thing that we're looking for. <laughs> I swear that always winds up happening in Minecraft, though. Like, I always wind up finding just about everything other than the things that we're, you know, actually looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get ourselves up to 30 levels with this lot. There we have it. You love to see it, don't you? Love to see it. That's 30 levels for your boy. Uh, yeah, that is most definitely a bastion. Ah, jeez. Okay. Uh, which way do we go then? Do we go straight on? Maybe we try to find out what's over the right hand side. So yeah, got ourselves a bit of a cluster of biomes and structures going on. Very, very cool. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and explore the right hand side over here. Maybe, just maybe, there would be something there that we've been looking for. Maybe the blue biome. That'd be kind of nice. Nothing really to speak of so far though, unfortunately. Oh, bone blocks! Oh, do you know what? Those are going to be really quite useful. You know? We don't have the biggest source of bone meal and bones in our world just yet, but mining up bone blocks. <laughs> that might just be the way to go. Just got to be careful of these fellas. Okay, very, very good. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's mine these bad boys up. Never thought I'd get so excited about finding bone blocks. But yeah, honestly, this stuff is going to be very, very useful. Oh, look at all those gold blocks in there, though. Oh, there could be any number of loot chests in there just begging to be looted. And we have diamond armor at the end of the day. Ah, oh, do you know what? No, 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 no. Let's not get tempted too early into a bastion. No, we're not going to get tempted too early into one. I would like to go ahead and maybe take that on in a hopefully not too distant future episode. Uh, but yes, I still think we need to play it nice and safe. I think you're a formidable opponent, do you? Well, you're not. <laughs> what an embarrassment that guy was. Hey there, fella. How you doing? Hey, why don't you get back over here so we can play some ping pong, eh? You don't want to play ping pong with me? Ah, oh, come on, man. Do you not want to have a chance at winning at ping pong? Come on. Notice me. There we are. Ha! Ah, oh, really? I missed from that close? That sucks. Ah, you son of a... Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Calm yourself. There you go. There you go. That's how the pros roll. Well, my friends, to say that this took a while to find, despite the fact it's only like a hundred blocks away from zero zero in both directions, is understatement of the century. It's like I've gone circles around my spawn and it's only now that I've managed to find this. Ah, oh, goodness me. All right, well, all we got to do is go ahead and grab for ourselves a whole bunch of this here warped wood. Then we can pop back to base and get some warped fence windows going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if we're really, really lucky, what we may be able to do, and this is really a big maybe, maybe we could get the Enderman to pick up some of the Nylium blocks. We kill the Enderman, and then they therefore drop the Nylium blocks. That is how you get Silk Touch blocks without the usage of Silk Touch. So, yeah. Might as well grab some Shroom Light while we're here. Maybe we can have that as our main light source inside of our base. I figured that might be a nice idea. In terms of our resource collecting, we're doing pretty well so far, my friends. We've got just over a stack of warped logs. I think maybe two stacks would do the job, and then we try to get lucky with the whole Enderman holding the Nylium thing. A magma cube spawning randomly in the nether. Hmm, okay, that might actually be pretty darn useful, so long as I don't, uh, as long as I don't accidentally wind up hitting the piglins as well. Right, yeah, there we are, ha, there we are, and there we are, okay, please go away there, buddy. All right, there we are, four bits of magma cream, we can make four loads of fire resist potions with that. Very, very good, obviously, I think at this point, all we need now is, what, the blaze rods? And then we should be all right. That just scared the heck out of me. That piglin walking through me like a ghost. <laughs> oh, hey, this guy is holding the uh, the Nylium that I'm looking for. 
Wait, 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 wait. I might be able to do something here, guys. Aha! There we are. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here, buddy. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, no, everything's fine. Don't worry. I'm not getting jump scared. You guys are getting jump scared. Ah, uh, there we go. Nylium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. Right, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and plant that down, plant a bunch of netherrack around it, and use the bone meal that we picked up earlier to spread the Nylium. Ah, who says I'm not a smart pythonator sometimes, eh? All we need to do now to really complete the collection, really, is to head back to our crimson biome and see if we can get an enderman to pick up a crimson nylon block. Oh, God, that's actually going to be incredibly difficult, isn't it? Ah, jeez. I mean, to be honest, that really is going to be a case of getting insanely lucky. Because Endermen, they really don't really spawn overly much over in Crimson Biomes. I'm pretty sure they still do, rather similar to the rest of the Nether, but on a very, very rare basis. So, uh, yeah, got to be careful with that. Also, we've got to be careful as to uh, how we get back. Because, I'll be honest, I think I've forgotten the route I took to get here. Ah, jeez. All right, uh, maybe we go... This way. Okay, trying to land on this platform over here, okay? Here we are. That was nice and painless. We go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz for our troubles, get ourselves up to 33 levels, and we'll be able to finish off enchanting our armor as an episode end goal. Oh, yes! Wait, wait, wait. This is our path back, isn't it? Oh, my word. I'm so surprised that I didn't go ahead and uh, mark this down with a coordinate. There we are. 12, 116. Both plus coordinates. Whew. Okay, right. So now we can get back to our home crimson biome and see if we can get an enderman to randomly spawn in. The chances of that actually happening are pretty remote. But if it does happen, then I'm going to be the happiest guy in the entire world. Like, really, I will. Wait a minute. There's an ender boy. Hey, buddy. Go ahead and pick up some crimson nylium, yeah? Please. Pretty please with cherries on top and all the other beautiful things that exist in the world. Please. Pretty, pretty please. Come on. Oh, up. Hey, oh, oh, you want to go again, do you? Yeah, you better run away, son. Yeah, you ain't doing nothing, dude. Oh, God, there's even more of these guys now. All right. Wait, where'd that Enderman go? Oh, he's there. Okay, right. Has he got anything? He has! He's got it! Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can be nice and smart about this, okay? Ha! Right, there we are. Take this guy out. He's going to drop his Crimson Nylium. Yes, and then we can pick it up, and then we can take it back to base. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have what we were looking for. Oh, goodness me. Don't you dare kill me. I swear to God, I will be so sad. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, a lot of you guys are always reminding me that these guys are, in fact, afraid of portals. And yeah, that definitely just confirmed that to be true. <laughs> boy, oh boy, did we manage to get a good amount of stuff. In the next episode, we'll be able to properly get back to this base and uh, get the little fence wall windows in. And hopefully, we should be able to make ourselves a renewable source of uh, warped trees and crimson trees in the overworld. Yeah. So then, ladies and gents, all that's left to be done is to go ahead and uh, enchant our remaining bits of armor. So what have we got here? Protection 3 or Protection 3? Sure, Protection 3 by itself. Fire Protection 3 oh, by itself. Oh, that sucks. Not a very good way to end off the episode, but we are indeed going to end off the episode. An out-and-out -out success by every stretch of the imagination. Next episode, we are going to be able to properly get back to my base, as I was saying. And it's going to be a fantastic time, my friends. We survived our nether trip today, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like if you haven't already. It really helps get the series out there, and it really does help out the channel myself and the video massively. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, my friends. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.